All right, so welcome back. Uh, one of the things that we've looked at consistently is um, on several other videos, is, is thinking about a paradiddle, uh, paradiddle between the hi hat and the snare, and, and 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 adding some footwork with the kick drum, and, and we left off somewhere here. Um, a, a slight change in a note, right? A uh, 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 leaving out a note can, can uh, change the whole rhythm and the style of the drumming, right? So right now to, we're, we're playing a, we're playing our our, our paradiddle. <laughs> So that instead of going, we start to go. Let's see the difference again. Drop. Okay, well let's hear that with our paradiddle on top and if we keep the regular beat with all of the notes and the two eighth notes following each other, we get this. What happens if we drop it? Let's just take out the first eighth note. So we keep this one and we take out the second one so that we're doing Now let's add the paradiddle. So let me play two bars the first way, maybe two bars the second way, and see if you can pick up on the difference in what it's doing stylistically to the rhythm. Here we go. One, two, three. It's more of a rock and roll beat, just sort of a straight rock and roll. When we drop that first, uh, when we drop that first eighth note, it becomes a little bit more of an R and B funk type of a sound because now we're going. going uh, with the right hand and the left hand, something along the lines of... one eighth note really changes um, um, the type of beat that we're playing, changes the groove, right? So these are the types of things that are important when we're playing with an ensemble, playing with a band, and really trying to catch the right groove for the right song. All right.